article put out by a reputable health organisation came out with a surprising statement recently saying that we should greatly limit or perhaps even avoid nuts because of their high fat content some of which is saturated fat. They also went on to say that we need to be careful and limit the high omega-6 containing nuts, such as walnuts, almonds and cashews. They added that because Brazil nuts, macadamia nuts and cashews are higher in saturated fat, which can contribute to raised cholesterol levels, we should either avoid them or eat them rarely. Now, as Dr. Greger has taught us over and over, we know the artery crippling effects of saturated fat and that we should be doing everything we can to completely avoid it in our diets. So does that mean for those of us who are consuming nuts regularly that we should aim to reduce them? Well, Dr. Greger addressed this very concern in a Q&A on nutritionfacts.org. I've put this audio through Adobe Enhance as his treadmill was really loud in the background. And a few of you have said that some of his audio in the past has been really hard to hear. So links to the original video are in the description below. What about saturated fats in nuts, walnuts and cashews, or avocados? Right, so when we say, you know, hey, avocados, that's monounsaturated fats, or walnuts, polyunsaturated fats, or, you know, uh, beef, uh, saturated fats. Basically, all foods have a combination of various um, saturated fatty acids, different kinds of fat. And so it's usually we're talking about the predominance of, uh, so we talk about olives being mostly monounsaturated fats. It's mostly, there's still, there's saturated fat. In all of theirs, I mean, there's kind of a, a combination of different fats. So wait a second, if saturated fat is bad, what about uh, eating walnuts? Walnuts do have saturated fat. Yes, they have other stuff too. But even though it's not predominantly saturated, wait a second. If I'm trying to decrease my intake of saturated fat, should I avoid walnuts? We said, okay, well, let's take a step back. Why are we concerned about saturated fat? Primarily, it's because it cripples our arteries, increases our LDL, our bad cholesterol. Okay. And indeed, when you eat a steak... Right? You get that crippling arteries, you get the increase in LDL. In fact, you get the TMA, the trimethylamine oxide, causes all sorts of other problems, thanks to your microbiome of those who eat meat. But what happens when you eat a walnut? Yes, it has some saturated fat in, but it has all these other wonderful things, and they eat a walnut. What happens? Your arterial function within the next few hours improves, gets better. What happens to your cholesterol? Cholesterol goes down. So the opposite effect. And so that's why we're concerned because of death and disease, of endpoints, clinical endpoints. That's the most important thing. The only care we care about biomarkers is because they may predict disease. Okay, but we can actually follow populations who eat uh, foods like nuts. What happens to them? They get less disease and more disease, less disease. In fact, the PREDIMED study, thousands of people randomized to extra nuts or not extra nuts, actually mailed them extra nuts every week for years. And what happened? Those that ate nuts half the stroke risk. Meaning, if you don't eat enough nuts, you're doubling your stroke risk. This is a randomized controlled interventional trial. Now, is it enough just to eat nuts? No, they're still getting strokes, half as many strokes. But wouldn't it be better to eat a, a diet that doesn't foster um, any strokes or uh, cardiovascular events? That would be ideal. And so that would mean moving towards a more plant-based diet, a more whole fruit plant-based diet in, in general. If you're worried about the high levels of omega-6 fats in nuts, check out this next video where Dr. Brooke Goldner addresses this.